social and ethical issues, data quality. Now we are going to take a look at data quality and really differentiate it from what is data quality compared to data integrity and accuracy, okay? Because that's often terms we can get very mixed up with, okay? Because all relate to data really being good, okay? But data quality is kind of this highest level of what we want for our information system. So what is data quality? Well, data quality is extremely significant as in it goes beyond data integrity and accuracy from when data is first validated. Essentially, information needs to be reliable and effective for the purposes of the organization. Okay, so the information that's on the system, okay, it has to be effective, okay, it needs to be useful. So it aids the organization in achieving its goal. So this is what makes the information quality, its usefulness to the organization. So my information system could have heaps of data on it, okay, and it's transformed it all into information. But unless that information is useful to my organization, well, then it's not going to be useful. It's going to be useless, okay? So it needs to be useful to the organization. And the more useful it is, the better quality it is. So that is what data quality relates to, the useful of the data on the system to the organization. Now, in saying this, over time, correct data may become incorrect due to changing circumstances. So just because we have this information on our system doesn't mean that it's staying correct then after it was first entered. So we obviously need to put in measures into place to ensure that our data stays quality. Okay, principles of quality data include accuracy, timeliness, and accessibility. So accuracy means that when the data is put into the system, it is correct through validation and verification techniques. Timeliness relates to that fact that we just mentioned that over time, the data stays correct. So that means re-verifying the data and updating if it needs to be based on us checking if it's still correct. And then finally, accessibility. Those who need to access the information on the information system have the ability to do so, whether it be through technological barriers or disability. Okay, if they are using the system and obviously need that information, there are ways of them doing that. Okay, and so they're the characteristics of data quality. But let's look at it in the context now of our social and ethical issues. So first is the negative impacts. And the first one is accurate data may become inaccurate. So we need to make sure that over time, the timeliness factor, that our data still stays correct. So when data is initially entered into a system and validated, it is usually correct. Though over time through circumstances may change, okay, related to what the data is about. Thus, data needs to be continually checked and updated. I work at a school, okay, and at the beginning of every year, we recheck the data of every student. We send out a form to their families, and they have to recheck over those forms and make sure that they're addressing information, their phone numbers for contact, as well as any allergies students may have, are still correct, okay? Because if they changed over time, Okay, it could put their student in a state of harm, or we might be able to contact parents if there is an issue because they might have moved house. Okay, so this stuff is important for maintaining the data quality on our school information system. Secondly, is time and resources for verification. It obviously is a process and it takes time. Okay, a strategy needs to be developed to check and verify data that is on a system. This may involve sending forms to the sources of the data, having them updated their information periodically. Like I said, with the school information system, we do it yearly. Some places might even do it monthly. Okay, but there has to be periods of rechecking that data is correct in order to maintain that data quality. Now, data quality is obviously a good thing that we're all trying to achieve. So there are many positive impacts related to this. The first one is ensuring data integrity. This process ensures that data on the system is correct for its users when it is used by the organization. So integrity is that important part of quality. We want correct data. We do not want to be working with incorrect data because the incorrect data becomes incorrect information. Okay, and it obviously then hinders the organization. Okay, because the things we'll be doing will be wrong because what we're basing it on is incorrect. Secondly, user confidence in the system's reliability. As the data provided by the system is more likely to be correct, users will be confident in the system's capability to provide quality information that will aid them in doing their day-to-day -day tasks. Obviously, if the system helps me, I'm going to be happier to use it. Okay, I'm going to be more counting on the system. Okay, one of the reasons I'm happy using YouTube is it does well with my videos. Okay, I know that I can upload easy. My videos will be put online. It'll go out to an audience. My viewers will be able to view them correctly without any issues. Okay, it is a reliable system. The data on YouTube is of quality. It gives me a great frame rate. It allows me to write any descriptions. It allows me to manage my channel. Okay, it manages quality data. Okay, because I believe in the system and I know the data is going to be good there, the information that comes out of it will be good, I'm happy to use that system. Finally, quality data benefits 
the organization. So quality data aids the organization as the a whole because it provides information that aligns with the organizational goals. So right back into the definition, okay, the system supports the organization and the system supports the organization through giving it quality information. Okay, that is then used for achieving the organization goals and making life easier for the users who use the system in completing their tasks. So I hope this has given you a good understanding of what data quality is. Essentially, the information that comes out of a system is of a high quality through it being correct, through it staying correct over time, through it obviously being able to be accessed by users easily, no matter what their circumstances are, and aiding them in completing their day-to-day -day tasks and achieving the organizational goals.